Option number two could be that if my boat starts to turn past 12 o'clock towards 11 o'clock, I'm gonna try and correct and straighten the boat out so I can continue running straight off in this direction here. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna make sure I keep this edge of the boat up and I'm still leaning towards the, the wave in this direction, but I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna rotate in this direction with lots of, lots of body rotation and I'm using the back of the paddle here to push out really hard towards the back of the boat. Now this stroke sits somewhere in between a, a rudder and a bit of a reverse sweep. So I'm putting a lot of pressure through the back of the blade and keeping this edge up. And if I hold it in this position, I should feel the boat climbing to the top of the wave and starting to come back round towards 12 o'clock. Let's take a look at that in this footage. So when my kayak starts to surf on this wave, it's taken left. So my bow is starting to go round from 12 o'clock more towards 11 o'clock. So we're gonna have a look at how we can recover from this position and straighten the boat up. So I start by winding my body round, getting the blade in on the opposite side of the boat to act like a rudder and a bit of a break. I'm making sure that I'm still edging towards the wave. So we call this an opposite edge rudder. Once in this position, I keep pressure on the back of the blade. I keep that edge on until I feel the back of the boat start to release and I can straighten up and I'm now surfing straight again. Let's have a look at that whole sequence again in slow motion. You can see exactly the same strategy being applied on these slightly smaller waves. Opposite edging, back of the blade to stall the boat and allow the stern to release. The same thing works on these mellower waves, constantly thinking about changing that edge. It takes some practice, but eventually we'll be able to change direction, control where we want to go on the wave.